Um, you where you were? And yeah, I was on a plane, and I got a um, something told me like it was six. I had a six a.m. flight, and I had no Wi-Fi. Something told me like hey, buy Wi-Fi. <laughs> Um, I was really doing it to check on my family, right. and then I had all these texts like, are you okay, are you excited, and um, I knew instantly, so, and I still had like an hour or two left on the flight, so, it was kind of like nerve wracking. Yeah, I was going to say, what was going through your mind at that point, once you found yeah, out? You know, a lot of things, um, you know, instantly I, I was like, man, let me call my wife first, let me call my agent, let me um, talk to Stan. Um, but once I spoke to those three, I felt a lot more comfortable and I started to settle in um, what was happening. So I was fine with it. Uh, Avery, what do you think when you look at the Celtics team that only has four guys back? So many changes. Yeah, there's a lot of changes, but um, the coaching staff and, you know, with the high class organization that's here, I knew that they would have no drop off. You know, you can see it. They're playing hard. That's one thing that, you know, is instilled in them. And I think it has a lot to do with the city of Boston. They're going to go out there and play as hard as they can for the city. So they play hard and they play together. And, um, you know, that that to me is the perfect ingredient to, you know, what a basketball game. Hey, we had a conversation. Apparently, you and Isaiah were at a wedding. You kind of was consoling you or talking to you. What was that conversation like with Isaiah right after the trade? And, you guys weren't going to be teammates anymore. The, what, was, what was that conversation like? No. Oh, you didn't? No. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. I thought it was some kind of repeat. Uh, can you tell me the first time you talked to him after your trade? Yeah, the first time I spoke to him. Um, He's playing hard. There's no question. I still don't. I think he sent me like a text. Like, bro, I'm going to miss you. Every, everybody did. You know, instantly, you know, you start thinking of all the memories and all the time that you might get upset with each other and all that, but then you, um, you know, you appreciate those moments as well. So I think we, you know, we reminisce a little bit together. And, um, I think about it. Were you able to talk to him after he got traded? Um, yeah, I sent him a text. Yeah. I sent him a text, I sent Jay a text. Still send those guys a text. One thing about the NBA, I, I think guys that play together, going to battle every single night, um, and spending time with each other on the court, you know, the long season, you know, the family, so you care about each other's well-being, so you always know, send each other a text and check on one another. When you look back on, on your time in Boston, personally, professionally, developmentally, whatever it may be, what's your fondest memory of time here? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I learned so much from this city. I learned so much from, um, you know, guys around the organization. Um, you know, even some of the guys that left, like the head of the and Brian. So, those guys I miss. Yeah, I talk to those guys all the time. Um, I talk to Twist. I, I mean, I talk to all those guys. I was able to, those guys got to see me grow up from uh, a 19-year-old kid to a 26-year-old. So, it was a... I, I was able to learn a lot from everybody um, on the court and off the court. So my time here, I really appreciated it. And um, I feel like, you know, every step in your life is to help you get to, you know, the person you're supposed to be, or in this case, the basketball player I want to be. So um, I just look at that, all those experiences that I had, um, and, and I'm thankful for them.